Hello everyone and welcome to another insightful session right here on this channel with me, Tete Tay. Today we would be looking at studying in Germany and specifically at the PFH Private University of Applied Sciences. If this is the first time you are watching any video via this channel, I am glad that you are here. I would encourage you to hit on the subscription button, give a like for this video and hit on the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video, you would be notified. Notified. If you are a returning viewer, I am glad that you are here and I know you are definitely going to find a scholarship that is worth applying for. Without much ado, let's jump straight into the video for today. So like I said, we are looking at studying in Germany and specifically at the PFH Private University of Applied Sciences. At PFH, we prepare you for the future. That is what it says on their website. So this is their home website. I would be inserting all the relevant links in the description so that you can always access the links for yourself. Visit this website, verify the information before you put in your application as well okay so let's scroll down so here you can read about the pfh private university of applied sciences okay so and they have more than 4500 students and then more than 5000 successful graduates and look at the fields of study they do not have a lot of fields this is highly specialized they have study programs in the areas of general management technology when it comes to digitalization and automation industrial engineering lightweight engineering and composites new mobility and ux management and design so very very specialized courses here okay so you can contact the international counseling team if you are interested in talking to them you can always click on read more so now let's look at the programs that are available for you to apply for okay so we have digitalization and automation that is a master of science all these programs are master's programs okay so don't forget and it's even written here it is taught in english so you can see the english written below and then the second course here is what general management master of science and then there's industrial engineering master of science there's lightweight engineering and composites also the master of science and then an mba the master of business administration and then there is what new mobility micro mobility this is also a master of science and then user experience management and design master of science so these are the courses here that you can apply via the pf h private university in germany okay so let's look at some frequently asked questions before we look at the scholarships available and then how you can apply for those scholarships and then how you can apply for any of the master's course that i have just mentioned okay so these are some frequently asked questions we are not going to go through all of them i have selected a few ones that we would go through because they are very very key and critical to your application process okay so what is the application deadline okay so you just click on the plus sign on the right and then it is written here at pfh university you can apply at any time that means there is no deadline for application you can apply at any time so once you are watching this video you finish watching this video you can put in your application at any time then what documents do I need to apply okay so let's look at the documents that you would need to apply so first and foremost you need application form via our website that is via the school's website we will be looking at the application form very soon via the school's website then you need what your curriculum vital that is your CV since PFH University is in Germany I would encourage you to use the Europass CV format just check the relevant resources in the description of this video and you are going to have access to a video where you can watch to generate your own euro pass cv within a few minutes and then in a few steps then you need higher education entrance qualification that is your bachelor's degree a copy of your passport digital photo and you need what a letter of motivation why do you want to study the course that you want to study just check the relevant resources in the description of this video and you are going to get to watch a video on how you can write your letter of motivation in four simple steps okay then you need employment references that means you need uh, references from your place 
of work and also you would need a letter of recommendation okay possibly academic letter of recommendation okay so these are the documents that you need one two three four five six seven eight documents but the first one is on the website so then you need to add the additional seven documents and then you are good to go and it states here do i need proof of language in my application okay so now let's look at that yes you will need proof of advanced english language skills example bachelor's taught in english when you see this one bachelor's taught in english that means all you need is an english proficiency letter from your university to suffice for any of these english language tests that are written here such as to for IELTS, ESOL, CAE, or BEC higher. You just need an English proficiency letter from your university that states that English has been your medium of study throughout your stay in the university and that suffices for any English language test score. Okay, so that is it. You can read about the rest of the frequently asked questions at your own time but now it is important for us to explore the scholarships that you are eligible for once you apply for any of these courses okay so mind you i would be inserting the scholarships page also in the description so that you can always check it out um, at your own time okay so once that we are here i want to hit on the key scholarships that are applicable to international students okay so the first one is the germany scholarship okay that is the first one that is here the germany scholarship so you just click on the plus sign and then now let's read the program initiated by the government in 2011 supports students who have demonstrated the promise of outstanding achievements in their studies and careers one half is financed by the federal government and the other half by private donors okay so the concept of achievement on which the scholarship is based is deliberately broad good grace and academic achievements are just as much a part of it as the willingness to assume responsibility or the successful mastering of obstacles in one's own life and education the scholarship holders receive the income independent grant of 300 euros per month for two semesters within their standard period of study so that they can successfully focus on their higher education okay so you get to receive 300 euros per month for two semesters yeah so the scholarship is worth 300 euros per month for two semesters so throughout your first two semesters you would be receiving 300 euros every month to cater for your living expenses okay so the federal government and committed sponsors or companies each fund half of the scholarships a contribution of 150 euros a month thus enables companies to support the training of excellent new blood for business and organizations pfh selects the scholarship holders in a transparent procedure according to defined criteria and organizes the funding that means the school selects the scholarship holders and organizes all the funding the commitment to a scholarship applies for two semesters at a time and is then reassessed by pfh so you are going to receive the scholarship for two semesters and then the school is going to reassess you again to see if you would still qualify for the scholarship a funding duration over the entire standard period of study is the target but then the target is for you to be funded for your whole study period but then after two semesters you will be reassessed for the scholarship so now how can you apply you will receive an invitation to apply via your pfh mail address approximately six weeks before the application deadline okay so six weeks before the scholarship application deadline you will receive an invitation to apply for the scholarship only then will the online application form be activated first the school is going to send you an invitation to apply for this scholarship once you put in your normal master's application okay so what you need to know performance oriented scholarship that means this scholarship is based on your performance in the school and you are going to receive 300 euros per month for a period of one year but then the first um, scholarship installment comes in the first two semesters and then you are reassessed for the following semester okay who can apply so prospective students and all students of all nationalities of the pfh private university of applied sciences okay so all students of all nationalities that means international students are also included there are also some frequently asked 
questions about the scholarship do i need to pay back the germany scholarship no you do not need to pay back so you can explore the rest of the frequently asked questions okay you do not need to pay back the money and then there are some other questions here that you can also look at okay then now let's look at the stibet program okay this is another scholarship that you can be eligible for as an international student okay so the german academic exchange service daad funds the stibet program with funds from the federal foreign office the international office of pfh offers scholarships for study completion and scholarships for social engagement to qualified international students it is the international office of pfh that offers this scholarship okay so scholarship for social engagement so apply from the second semester of your studies but you can apply for this scholarship after you have started or completed your first semester at pfh once you complete your first semester at pfh then you can apply for this scholarship okay so the scholarship sum is 730 euros and you are going to receive this amount only one time okay so this scholarship can be activated at the beginning of your second semester at pfh so the next scholarship that we are going to look at is the dad prize okay so the dad prize yeah so the dad prize has been awarded for over 10 years now and aims to put a face to the many international students at german universities and link them with their stories having been a recipient of the dad prize can be of great advantage when beginning a professional career what you need to know it is performance oriented scholarship and you can also apply for this scholarship from the second semester of your studies so once you have gained admission and you are moving to the second semester of your studies before you can apply for this program via the school's application portal but your eligibility is only going to come in after your first semester and with this the amount that you receive is thousand euros and it is for only one time as well okay so these are the three international scholarships that i wanted to talk about the germany scholarship the stabet program and then the dad Price, okay so with the stibet program you can only start applying for it in your second semester and then with the dark price also you can start applying for it only during your second semester but with the germany scholarship you can apply for it before you begin your program the school is going to send you an invite to apply for the germany scholarship okay so these are the scholarships that are available at pfh for international students now once you are ready to apply for your program all you have to do is to click on apply now okay so once you click on apply now it is going to bring you to this page okay so i'm going to insert this link in the description so then you can put in the details you can put in your details here you select the program that you want to apply for the next thing that you are going to do is to select your study location and when you want to start your studies so pfh has different campuses so once you read about pfh you would know about the different campuses then you can go ahead to choose the campus where you want to study you choose the start of your studies and then you put in your contact information and then you enter your address after entering your address you submit it and after that you would be able to start applying for the program of your choice okay so this is it for today this is how you can get to apply for any course at the pf h private university of applied sciences in germany i wish you all the best with your application and i am definitely going to catch you on the flip side stay blessed and i am out